and I just found my first morel of the season, and it is puny. Just a little, little guy. Look at that. That's like peanut sized. I don't know if you can see that or not, but that is a yellow morel that's peanut sized. And I, and there's more than that popping up. Let me see if I can show you another one that I just found as well. There it is, right there. You see that? That is another yellow morel. And I see one right over there as well. Okay, right away I can tell somebody's been turning over these boulders. <laughs> Somebody found my spot. Welcome to another episode of Utah Mushroom Hunter. I'm Blaine Washburn and I've got something really exciting to show you guys today. A real treat. Um, as y'all know, it, this is the beginning of the morel mushroom hunting season here in Utah. And uh, I've been searching for the last week or so, looking in different spots, finding a, a few different kinds of mushrooms, including morels. And, I, and in one of my go-to spots where I found morels uh, on most years, uh, a bunch of them are popping up this year, but when I first found them, which is back on April 10th, they were super, super small, just little, little size of a pea. And I've just been watching them. It's been, uh, I guess it's been uh, uh, five days since then. Uh, today is April 15th. And, um, and I've been, I've checked them every uh, other day or so and they're, they're growing. I was a little worried because uh, it's, it's been super dry uh, here. This particular area is in Utah County and, and Utah County has been pretty dry these last 10 days. But as you can see, Today's Monday, the 15th, tax day by the way. Um, I, I, we're getting really, really good rain, which is super helpful. And when I saw these last week getting kind of dry, there was even some that I noticed that when I found the first day looked good. And then a couple days later, because they weren't getting enough uh, moisture, they dribbled up and were, were really struggling. And, and I actually was hand watering them. <laughs> so it's my little morel farm. Um, but I, you know, I've been here and watered them two different days since then, uh, just trying to keep them wet. And then we have this nice rainstorm today. So, uh, checking them to, today, wondering if I might, there might be a couple of them, maybe big enough to harvest. I, I'm not sure if I'm going to take any today or not, but, uh, but anxious to get, to get through and get and see them. But so you'll see a few different kind of mushrooms. I found, um, uh, uh, I believe some more oysters and, uh, found some uh, some agarics these last couple of days. So you'll see me wearing a few different clothes because all this did not happen during the same day. Uh, but you'll love this one because it shows the, uh, some progression with the growth of some of these morels in one of my areas. Anyway, let's get to it. Let me show you what I found, uh, what I found these last couple of weeks. So this is an area right through here. I found them in the past and I'm not seeing anything today so far. It just feels so cold. It does not feel like morel weather to me. And uh, and it definitely is early. Hope I find something today, but we'll see. By the way, you can see, I can't remember what this plant is called, but I often find those that type of plant with the um, uh, morels that I find. They, see, it seem, they seem to go hand in hand with each other here. You can see the, all the mixed weeds. This is what you're looking for, mixed weeds and grasses. There's, you can see the grasses right over here. This is what they like. So this is the type of area that I would look in. And they like, you know, they like to hide up close to the tree. Not too close, but they, they like these, uh, not the conifers, but the deciduous trees. Hardwood specifically. Well, this is a log I found them found oysters on every year for the last four or five years or so. And here they are again. Look at that. Look how beautiful those are. They're a little bit old this year, even though I'm here a week or two earlier than I was last year. Uh, but they should still be really good to eat. So I'm going to take some of the bigger ones and I'm going to leave some of these smaller ones. But those look great. This is amazing. You know, once you find a, a tree that produces oysters, you literally can't keep going back to it 
year after year after year and they will keep producing for you until the tree gets too old. This tree isn't too old yet. You can see that it's getting pretty old, but uh, looks like it was felled by a beaver. You can see all the beaver markings right there. And I have no idea how old this tree is, it's how long it's been knocked down. I imagine a good 15 years, 20 years or something. But I could be off on that. But regardless, this thing has been a treasure for me. Every single year, I find oysters off this thing. Look at that. These are so yummy. This, is, this might be my wife's favorite mushroom. She loves the oysters I bring home. So here's my haul from this uh, log this year. Really good haul. And I'm going to leave these here. And we got a kind of a dry week this week, so these may not make it. But I'm going to give them a chance and let them uh, let them see if they can they can grow. But you can see if I can get in here in these weeds, you can see that there's quite a few in here that are trying to grow. And those ones actually, if uh, in a few days, those should be just gorgeous. If as long as they don't dry out, we do with these warm days. I'm not sure what's going to happen. It is early enough in the spring that it doesn't get too hot. Maybe these will be gorgeous here in a few days. I might have to come back and check on them. All right, so I'm looking through here as well. This is another area that I found them before. And I'm not finding them in this area either. You can see the mixed grass. They really like this. And, and the other thing I look for is up here against the river, I like to get look among the rocks because I it feels like sometimes the early ones come maybe they're absorbing rocks from the heat or a heat from the rocks early in the year I uh, found them some years where it's felt like that but I'm not seeing any today yet well I've looked pretty hard in my spots today and my spots don't have any morels in them yet so I think I'm a little bit early in my areas. So I'm checking one of my spots here. This is right along a river. And uh, I know I'm kind of early. The earliest I've ever found a morel here has been um, uh, April 15th. And so I'm checking this spot. This is one of my lower elevation spots. And I just found my first morel of the season. And it is puny. Just a little, little guy. Look at that. That's like peanut sized. I don't know if you can see that or not, but that is a yellow morel that's peanut sized. And I and there's more than that popping up. Let me see if I can show you another one that I just found as well. There it is right there. You see that? That is another yellow morel. And I see one right over there as well. Let's see if I can zoom in on that. See that right there? That might be two of them coming actually right there. But those are those are morels. So I'm not going to step through here because I they're so small still that they're probably I don't want to damage them. So I'm not going to come through here. But these are yellow morels that are po poking up through this area. Here are two more babies that I just now found. Look at those two yellow morels poking up through the ground that are just uh, teeny 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 so I'm gonna come back here in uh, three to four or five days and let's just see how big these are there's some of the local wildlife so I came to this little spot here and look at this we're finding there here's some agaric mushrooms and uh, agaric mushrooms are are almost all something that you can eat, but uh, what you wanna do is you wanna pick that up. These ones are kinda old and dry and I'm not gonna eat these ones, but that is 100% agaric. You can see they've got the, the brown gills right there. It's got a kind of a brownish white cap. This is this could be a agaricus capestri, perhaps. Uh, but um, those are a yummy, yummy type of mushroom. See that brown, those brown gills, how brown those are. You could cut the cap of that off and lay it down on a piece of paper and get a brown spore print. 
that's what that would be. And that's what you're looking for to determine whether it's a, an agaric that you can eat. And see, here's another one right here. This is how these agarics are. If you find them, usually they're, they're in the same area and kind of grouped together. But nice little agaric, that's a good find. Okay, so this is the area that I had found them uh, two days ago, uh, which are just before this video. I'm putting it all together so you can kind of see what's going on here. But here's this memorial right there. It's a little bit bigger. You can see it's it's now, before it was about peanut size, and now it's about a, a good inch long. So it's growing. It's not as fast as they normally grow, to be honest with you. And I think it's because we haven't had good water. But there's one right there that I didn't see last time that's now poking its nose out. Here's one right here that I'd shown to you before. And that one's a little bit bigger as well, but still not growing as quickly as I'd like. They usually go quicker than that. And then there's these two right here as well that I showed you last time. They've grown just a little bit as well. I also showed you those two last time and they are drying up because they're not getting enough water. <laughs> so I'm gonna try watering all of these. But also here to the side, I found a couple more that I didn't see last time. I don't know if you can see those. There, I moved that blade of grass and Nate, you can see both of those two together. So those are uh, popping up as well. And I'm sure there's more around this area that will be popping up that I just can't see yet. This is an area that's produced for me every single year, nearly. Last year it didn't, but this year they're here again. But we need more water for sure. Otherwise, these are gonna just be stunted and not get very much bigger. Maybe for context, let me put my finger down here so you can kind of see how big this is. See, definitely not worth picking to eat. Just very small. All of these are not worth picking to eat. They're too small, they need to grow. So hopefully we can get them bigger. All right, so I'm watering them, getting them nice and wet. And as I'm doing this, I'm finding more of them. So I just found a couple right here. Let me see if I can move my foot just a little bit. I don't know if you can see that right there. There you go. There's a clear shot of it. And there's also another little one right back there that I'm going to get watered. So, let's see. Can you see that? There it goes. Little one right there. So, I just watered those two. So, there's like 11 or 12 more L's that I found in this spot. That I'm hoping I can get watered and I'm hoping I can harvest here relatively soon. Fun little spot. And if I keep looking, there's probably more. And, uh... But they're just so small, they're hard to see, they're hidden. This is a good area. Okay, so I literally got on my hands and knees and doused them all with as much, you know, a bunch of water. Uh, I just, um, I, you know, and when I got on my hands and knees, I kept finding new ones. I think I'm up to maybe 20 little small moral mushrooms in this area that I've found so far. and. Um, so I just doused them with a ton of water and we're, uh, we're probably not going to get any rain until maybe Sunday, probably Monday, Tuesday-ish. And uh, the chances are kind of low, so I don't even know if, if those, uh, if we will get rains. Uh, but they need water. These are drying up this spot. If, uh, you know, there's probably a lot more around this area. Obviously there is that I'm not seeing and I can't go through and water at all. But, but I uh, hopefully dousing with water gives it a fighting chance to keep growing and so that maybe I can come back. I'll, I'll check it here in another couple days, see if they grow any bigger. I got my own little morel mushroom farm here, um, trying to get them to grow. And with all this hot water or hot weather, uh, it's hard. Um, boy, I hope we get some rain and uh, can really start pushing them out of the ground. So I'm back to this spot. This is where I harvested those oysters a few days ago. And I left all these here, hoping they'd grow out. But as you can see, they are just drying up and they're done. 
so they're not going to continue to grow. They, they're actually smaller now than they were a few days ago when I uh, found them. Okay, I'm back at my spot. Let's see what I find today. Okay, right away I can tell somebody's been turning over these boulders. <laughs> Somebody found my spot. Okay, so there was one right over here that was big. That's gone. I don't know if you remember that shot right there. They've taken that one. I still see a couple in here that they left. There's that one right there that they left. Ah, oh, this is frustrating. So I won't, I probably won't have any that I can take today because somebody took them. But there's that one right there. There's a couple there that are growing. This one that was over on this side has been taken. There was one right in there. There's that one there that's getting a little bigger. There's that one there. There you go, see a little better there. So there's a few here still, but they've taken the bigger ones. That's too bad, dang it. See if we can see, oh, there's those two next to the rock. I don't know if you remember showing me showing you that. So those are still there. So they've just taken a few of them, a few of the bigger ones. Nice little fishing lure there. It looks like they've left the rest. Let's see if I can keep looking and see if I can find any new ones that have popped up. There's the stump of that one big one that I was watching here. Somebody definitely grabbed it. But here's the other area that I was finding them in over in this particular location. And you can see that those two they missed there. They're not really growing though. They're, they're growing super slow. There's a couple more, like this one right here. You see that? Oh, there it is, right there. There's that one. Here's one right here. There it is. There's that one right there. There's that one right there. There's these two. They're, those are kind of rebounding. Those are the two that were really dried out before. They're kind of rebounding a little bit. That's good. So whoever found my spot and picked some of my bigger ones, they completely missed these other ones. They're still small and boy, are they growing slow. So I probably won't continue to uh, track the progress of these, at least while, uh, I, at least in this video, I won't. I'll go ahead and wrap up this video, but at least you can see that they are there, they are growing and a couple of the big ones got taken. So thank you for watching another episode of Utah Mushroom Hunter. We found some fun mushrooms in this one. It's been fun watching those morels grow uh, with the dryness and then all of a sudden rain today. <laughs> you know, they haven't been growing very fast. I did water them last week, but um, I'll, uh, I'll uh, make some more videos of this area and also the other is that morel season is just barely starting. There's gonna be a lot of morels found this year. So this, this will be a, a fun mushroom year. So uh, I'll see you in our next episode. And again, thank you for watching.